Hi everybody. Thanks for looking in. This video, as the title says, describes single point cutting of external threads on a lathe using the tool usually reserved for cutting inside or female threads. Why would you want to do this? The big reason is that for right hand threads, this technique allows the tool to cut by moving away from the headstock thus eliminating the danger of the tool crashing into the chuck or the shoulder of the part. This is hardly a new concept. Many people appreciate the reduced stress of threading away from the site of a potential crash and like the idea of being able to run the lathe at a higher speed as a result. It is commonly done by mounting an ordinary threading bit upside down and running the lathe spindle in reverse. Now this is largely a matter of personal preference and I would prefer to have my tool bit right side up. And to do so the tool must approach the work from the back side and the ordinary internal threading bar is already set up to do this. Note that due to the limited rigidity of the threading bar this method is limited to relatively short threads and cannot be used at all if the work needs to be supported by the tailstock. Now most of the threading I do is on short sections and usually doesn't require tailstock support so I use this technique a lot. Threading proceeds pretty much as usual except that the lathe spindle runs in reverse so if your lathe has a threaded spindle nose it will be necessary to have a way of securing your work holding device so that it does not unscrew from the spindle under the force of the cut. If you like to use the compound top slide for threading, it may be set to the usual 29 or 30 degree position. So now just use your favorite method for cutting and measuring the thread. But first, move the carriage away from the work, turn the spindle on in reverse, Engage the half nuts and be sure the carriage moves away from the headstock. If it does not, reverse the rotation direction of your lead screw and check again. So here we go. A relief groove may be made beforehand or not. It really doesn't matter. I'll just touch off on the part using my cross slide. Move in the compound top slide to an appropriate depth for the first cut and have at it. Notice that I can run at a higher speed than I normally would since I don't have to worry about stopping the cut at any particular point. Now I'll return the tool to the starting position and take the next cut and so on and so on until the thread is finished. If I stop the lathe for any reason before the thread is finished I need to remind myself to restart the lathe in reverse, restarting the lathe in forward and engaging the half nuts may have unfortunate consequences. So that's it. You may prefer the conventional way or the tool upside down way and that's fine, whatever works for you. The method outlined here works well for me and I use it much of the time. Oh, and the same principle may be applied to internal threads by cutting on the far side of the bore. Thanks for watching. And I'd be interested in reading and responding to any comments.